Hello people, I am Jabby Kawai, joined by the smelliest of ears, Alina Smelly Ears. <laughs> Small ear. Small ear. And so we're looking at filter copies. Signs you have the best roommate featuring Asas Chana, aka Hot Sauce, uh, and Aporva Aurora. Asas Chana, oh, we got to interview. We are friendly friends now, and I love her, she's awesome. And I like Aporva Aurora as well but she doesn't talk to me. Asas, hot why? sauce talks to me. I don't know why. She just hasn't yet. She'll see this video and be like, what? And then she's gonna see all these messages from me. She'll be like, what a creep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding around. I don't think I've ever sent her a message, but uh, anyway. Uh, I do I do like a poor Aurora as well. She's very, she, they're both adorable. They're adorbs times, uh, times 3000. Filter copy, thank you so much for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Alina, uh, Battle Angels, very much looking forward to it as well. Uh, you guys, the rest of you, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Helps us out when you subscribe. Please do that if you haven't already. About 40% of our audience is what is subscribed right now. 1.33 million subscribers, that's only 40% of the our audience that keeps coming back. So the 60% of you, please join the Kauai family. Alina, smell your ears, we'd love that. Small okay. ears, small okay. ears, say it, small ears. Small ears, here we go. I just enjoy po poking you, uh, what are you doing? Pulling your leg. Poking you. Oh lord. Okay, okay. Hashtag get the F out of here, Jabby Koi. You don't have any roommates. No, I don't. And um, I used to. she used to have roommates. And I have had many roommates over the years. And so I know what it's like to have a roommate. Most of the time I, I haven't had the best of So here we go. <laughs> Alina, it's coming hey, Is it better to yeah, no? I feel like that's something you would do. Are you talking to the guys, Alina? No. You just throw it at them. That's a porva. That, that's what I usually do to my brother. I will just throw it. That's what I do every day as I shave my arms. I forgot to do that today, though. It's not going to be a good thing. 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 It's not going to आपकी मशीन एक हफ्ते से बंद पड़ी है ऐसा आया है मैंने उसी दिन ठीक करा दी थी है हां जी आई लव यू मैं लव यू मैं लगा दे गंदी हां सुन यार आज मम्मी आ रही है क्या कब अभी दो घंटे में ए नहीं 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 मुझे पता है तू क्या कहने वाली है हट यार मैं मीटिंग में फंसी हुई हूं प्लीज प्लीज घर साफ कर दे why would you do that? Why would you do that? What's the matter with you? Wow, spick and span. It's all tucked behind the bed, isn't it? Yep. Or under. Just don't investigate. Yeah, don't, don't touch anything. Wow. Come on, my child. I like her. I like her. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh Lord. Mary Almari me rakhe tera gun. Swear, please call karungi, please. Aye, break up hi to hai yaar. Hum friends to reh sakte hai na? You can't be friends, Arina. You deserve better. Tera phone ab mere paas rehega. Riya, 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 please, 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 please. Let it go. Let it go. It's not me. All the paraphernalia related to her ex. I'm probably, I don't know. Yeah. No, no, Gaga. I don't want to be friends with you. Sorry? I'm not going to be friends with dog. You know what? I let my own dog. I know. I'm not going to be friends with you. Very Damn, they went there. Oh and lord. Got rid of all of your stuff. Very good. Except that Josie that Virat Kohli signed because we are extremely proud of him, unlike you. Goodbye. Yeah. So proud of you. Actually, this watch brought it from Armani. Wow. Yeah. Job se liya hai na. All the girls are like, hey, I want your china. <laughs> all of them mad are behind me and all. You want my time? <laughs> Lady? Uh, 
By the way, uh, uh, have you seen this film, uh, Boom Shankar? Yeah, re. Three, four times I've seen it. Harina, Harina, Harina. ज्यादा नहीं हो रहे तुम्हारे भूम शंकर प्लान कर रही थी अब समझी इसलिए ये इतनी सुबह सुबह निकल क्यों गई मीटिंग का बहाना मार अलीना सॉरी यार मैं वॉशरूम में थी कोई आया कोई नहीं आया मतलब कुछ नहीं तूने खाना खाया Oh, maybe there was a surprise party. Yeah. yeah. Okay. तो गरम कर लेना किचन में पड़ा है खाना। खाती हूँ मैं। Surprise! Oh. They got you good, boo. They got you good. That's just a mess. Y'all have to go yeah. clean up later on. Yeah. All your friends are gonna bounce, and they're not gonna help you clean it up. <laughs> That's cool. Does that remind you at all of your roommating situation? Situation. Uh, it reminds me more of my brother, of my younger brother. Okay, is your brother very effeminate? No, he's just crazy weird, like two different people. And when I go to Ukraine to see my family, I live in the house, and yeah. like we share the bathroom, and I always like knocking at the door, like I have to go, I need the. He's like ten more minutes. <laughs> what else are you doing in there? I don't know. It's just my brother. Probably he was just brushing his teeth or like looking for at himself. I don't know. For ten minutes. Yes, it's my brother. All right then. Slow. I have Super so many slow. questions, but uh, we'll move on from that. He did it on purpose. I okay. know. <laughs> oh, he's just being. A, he's just being a butt. Yes. Okay, gotcha. I haven't had the most pleasant roommate situations that I can recall. The very first roommate I had. Let me. So let's go through this real quick. The very first roommate I had was in Hollywood. Her name was Kelly, and she had a cat. And she's like, "Are you a cat person?" And I said, "Totally. I grew up with cats, uh -huh. and because I did, I came to live with her. And I was like, and I realized, 40 cats. huh? And there were forty cats. No, no, she just had one. Okay. So, so I grew, <laughs> I grew up with cats. She's got a cat. I'm a cat person. No big deal. I get there, I live there. Within a day of living there, I realized I'm not a cat person. That became a, a sore spot for a little bit. But I tried to be cool about it. I just, I, you know, I, I wasn't into her cat. Her cat just bugged me. Some tried, cats are nice. Some you know, cats are don't. Her, so. her, her cat was just like just messing with my Ethernet cable a lot. And it's like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, that's my, that's my. I lived with two dudes for a little while. One of them was gay. One of them is straight. And I only found out he was gay when I moved in there. He's like. So uh, you'll be sharing this bathroom with uh, Scott. He is the straight roommate. And I was like, I didn't realize that was a gay one. Not that that's a problem, but I didn't even realize that was a thing. I, like, I, that wasn't listed anywhere, but uh, I'm glad you said it, I guess. Yeah, I had to share a bathroom with a dude, and that was uh, a, a, an experience I did not like. I can relate, I have a brother. Here's the, th <laughs> so. here's the thing, it's like I've been under the assumption, especially because of that experience, that men are just inherently dirtier than women. I've been in circumstances where I've learned that there are plenty of dirty women as well. And so yes, they are. We're, we're, Actually, we're they all are. just dirty people. That's what you it know, comes down to. I forgot. I used to live with a roommate, with a lot of them. When I used to study in <laughs> Moscow, my first year, it was like a community. It was four of us in the room, four of us, four of the girls in one room. Yes, that was insane. You leave like that, huh? I <laughs> you, used to. Your accent reminds oh. me of Despicable Me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Can you yeah. imagine? I, I I want to like remove them from my life. Probably. Yeah. My brain doesn't want to remember it. No, it's not fun. It was intense. Uh, and so what happened was I ended up living with a girlfriend, 
who uh, shall remain nameless, but we lived together for about a year and it wasn't working out us living together. And so I don't recommend, if you're an actor or actress, don't date someone else who's an actor or actress. It's just like not a good situation. But no. anyway, very intense relationship. I decide I gotta move into my own spot and I do. I had a, a Jewish non-Orthodox roommate and a Jewish Orthodox roommate. I think I heard that. Yes, you heard, you heard some of that. That was a, a funky situation, which is a long story I won't go into, but neither of them were my roommates for very long for a story that we'll tell another day. So then I moved in here. And that Orthodox Jew wanted to move in with me, but he was weird. So I said, no, not because he's Jewish, but just because he was weird. That guy in particular, <laughs> know, his name probably. is Jason. He was just like, I wanted to like choke his ass. But You're just different. That yeah, happens. we had different personalities. But he had a beautiful girlfriend, almost willing to let him live with me just so I could look at her. That was pervy. So let's not keep going there. I put out an ad on the internet and I said, I am a very anal retentive person. I like things neat. I don't like dishes in the sink overnight. You can have your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, stay over as long as you want, as long as they start to pay the, the DWP bill if they're showering here a lot. But uh, I don't give a shit about that, but I just care about my place being clean, that's it. Yeah. No shoes when you enter. And so Amy moved in. She sort of breezed through that and was like, that's fine. Not really realizing the extent to which I am anal about having a clean home. We got along great the first day playing rock band, whatever. Never hung out again after that. She moved out. And then a, a lady named Quan moved in. And, uh, and, and we, we, she, and so she and I, she and I got along pretty well, actually. She and I were frenzies for a while, but then it just got weird towards the end for some reason. And I think it's because she favored my ex, who I used to live with, over me. So, uh, Kwan moved out and then I lived with a, a, a girlfriend and her daughter for four years. Wow. No, ro no roommate situation is, is noteworthy to the point that I'm like, yeah, I relate, is all I'm trying to say. So this is yeah. like the stuff of movies to me. But I feel like there's a lot of women in Los Angeles who could relate to this. That's why I was like hoping you had something because... Well, y yes, you know, I, I used to live with a roommate in here in LA. So I can relate with this. Actually, like her mom was in our house, in our apartment basically almost all the time as yeah. well. So I basically had two roommates. Okay. <laughs> her and her mom. But her mom became your mom essentially, right? Uh, no. No? All right. No. All right. Let's no. <laughs> no. Hopefully she's not watching this, okay? Hopefully, yeah. But um, I can relate to this totally, but I love to leave by myself. Did you, who, who was clean between you and your roommate? Clean? We yeah. cleaned together. We had you were a day. equally clean? Yes, we, equally we clean? had a day, we cleaned everything, so. Okay, so there was never a situation where you had to like scramble at the last second and clean up on behalf of your roommate because her mom was showing up. No, because no. her mom basically was cleaning in general everything because we've been like working. Right. Any and breakups and stuff like that that you had to sort of help her coast through? Uh, well, I was trying to do that. But... You were the one who was breaking up with oh, guys. No. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm like, no. I usually had to deal with her She's guys. Like, no. I usually had to deal with her guys. I got this and shit say, down. Like, Pat. Don't even do this. And she's like, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. I'm like, I have a lot of things to do, and I'm dealing with your problems. It's just like, okay. So you're not the Alina character here. No, oh, probably. You're, you're the hot sauce. And a poor Aurora is your roommate. I think, you know, the mix. I can just relate to one of them. Probably the mix of both of them. A mix of both of them. That makes sense. We're all a little bit of hot sauce and a poor Aurora, all of us. We all have a little bit of that in each of us. You know, that's just yin and yang. It's a balance of life. I know. I'm not miss you because you are sacred game season 2. Very, very disappointing. The one thing I can sort of relate to is that breakup phone call thing. People usually don't stop me from my big mistakes. <laughs> like, if you want to do this, you'll do it. Yeah, because it, it, there was a situation where there was a girl that I liked. It was sort of this weird game where she was like, not interested, but she was, and then she wasn't, but she was, and she couldn't make up her mind because she was going to law school, and I liked her a lot, and she knew that. Every now and then, like, once I decided, you know what, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm, done. I'm good, I'm over her, <laughs> and then an email would come in from her, I'm like, oh my god, what's what she say now? I was like a sucker. My buddy was here, and he saw that email come in, he's like, you're gonna do it, aren't you? I'm like, I'm gonna do it. So I wrote back. Of course. And of I was course. like, I we sh all shouldn't been have. There. We all have been there. The friends who were supposed to stop me didn't stop me is all I'm trying to say. So this is like a very ideal scenario where you stop your friends before making that giant stupid mistake. Yeah. I like that. I think that's nice. Have you seen this film? Um, Boom Shankar. Oh, this one. Okay, the the dude who is like the uh, the awful new date. <laughs> look at look at his shirt. There's no wee in food. food. I've I've told the story before somewhere on this channel. I but like there's over two thousand videos, so it's hard to know when I said it. 
So for those of you who are on the newer side of the Koei family, you'll this will be new for you. I had a date scheduled with somebody. I forgot where I met her, but I was at Skeeter's place. You guys know Skeeter if you watch all my videos. I was at Skeeter's place and I said, look man, I'm going on a date tonight. If I shoot you a text message, I forgot what a message was, you gotta save me. He goes, okay, no problem. I get a text from this girl before she shows up and it says, oh my God, I'm such a slut. He's half Italian too. And I go, what the fuck? What, what does that mean? Why would she send me that? And then I realized that she meant to send it to someone else. And I get outside because she picked me up to go to um, something. And so I get in the car, I'm like, what's this mean? And she goes, oh my God, that wasn't supposed to be for oh you. Oh my God. <laughs> and and uh, apparently she was dating someone else. She was sort of like on that cusp of in and out. I went through a lot of those. I've been through too many of those where someone's like half in, half out. And they were sort of like trying to grab onto the jabs. Because he's such a, you know, knight in shining armor. Anyway, so at that point, I was like, you know what? I need to make this. I need to cut this short somehow. Yeah. So I said, let's go to Jamba Juice. That's a nice, easy peasy thing. Not too expensive. We'll go to Jamba Juice. My grandmother taught me, if someone pays for you for dinner or whatever, don't buy something more expensive than what they bought. If you took me out to dinner and you, and you bought something that was 10 bucks, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy something that's $9.99. Not a, a dime over, right? <laughs> Uh, unless you like push it on me. Anyway, go to Jamba Juice. I buy the small one. It's literally like this big. It's a small Jamba Juice thing. And she buys the large one. I'm like, this bitch. And so I'm like, <laughs> whatever, it's cool. We're drinking. And then the whole date is me just coaching her on how to deal with her current relationship. That was it. What? And so that was like, that was all of like 30 minutes. I was like, oh shoot, I'm getting a text message. And really I was sending a text message. And so she takes me back and Skeeter's like, hey man, you forgot about this meeting that we had tonight. I'm like, oh shit, the meeting. And then Date was over, never spoke to her again. Wow. But he, he saved Sometimes. me in a similar way. Like she just yelled out Babushka, or whatever the name of the movie was. <laughs> Babushka is actually in Russian, so. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the name of the movie was. But uh, yeah, so I related to that. That was cool. Yeah, I had this kind of situations as well when like I ask my friends, like if something's gonna go wrong, just text me a message, like ask, how's it going? And if I will say, it's fine, call me in an hour, or it's not fine, call me now, now, now. Yeah. Now. You know, I've decided that I'm not ever going to decide if a friend needs saving. I'm just going to wait because there have been a couple of instances where I thought a lady needed saving and I was mm. completely wrong apparently. For instance, my dad, when he was around, he could just talk your head off. He could just keep talking. And I saw my ex, the one I lived with, I saw her in the middle of a conversation with my dad and I thought that he was just talking her ear off. And so I went in and I saved her. She's like, what are you doing? And I go, what? Well, because I thought you, she's like, I'm fine. Oh shit, okay, well. Okay. And so in, in, in India, Achar and I were walking around and there was like this event going on and she got surrounded by all these dudes who recognized her. I'm like, okay. And she seemed to be handling things okay, but then it looked like they were closing in on her and I, and I thought she was gonna get overwhelmed. So I went in, I was like, hey, come on, let's go. And I pulled her away. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I just, I thought that, she's like, no, I was good. I'm like, oh. Last time I ever gonna do that, screw no, that. So probably so. You, you, you have to ask like, that doesn't work. No. No, it works. Maybe, because... maybe for you, but most people don't see that. Most oh, people are so like that? wrapped up in their situation. Hey, yeah. Hey. You know what you need is like a little bag of popcorn in a fanny pack and just throw it at them. <laughs> that's a sign. I don't know why that came to my brain. <laughs> that, that, that's just a, like that's the sign. Like it's it's very like specific. Who throws popcorn at you? I do when I'm trying to get your attention and ask if you're alright. That's silly jabs. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird video. <laughs> Check out Alina Battle Angel Smolier on, on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Thank you, Filter Copy, for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciated. I am Jabby Kawe. This is Alina Smolier. Peace out.